Hello and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. And today we have another first for you. We are here in Stain City. So many of you have heard about it. It is Dow Stain's enclave at the back of Four Ways, right between Dane Fern. And guys, there is so much here for you to love. If you're in a question, they've got an equestrian center. There's a restaurant, a clubhouse, a mountain bike track, a running track, and green belts all over the place. Everything you need, including schools, are located right here. But I tell you, everything you need is right in this house with no reason to ever leave it. There are so many very, very nice touches on this house. And the first is just behind me on the front door. You'll see a Carol Boys door handle leading so much class to a house this beautiful. So I'm going to take you through it. And guys, in the comments, I want you to let me know your favorite features. So let's get to it. Walking out of the entrance hall, you find yourself right here between your sitting area and your dining room area. There's so much space, double volume ceilings, windows all over the place, aluminum frames, double paned, keeping you warm during the winter and nice and cool in summer, saving you on your heating and your cooling bills. Below me, beautiful, beautiful wood flooring. And the thing that your eye is drawn to immediately is that cast iron fireplace there, real wood fireplace, chimney leading all the way up through the double volume ceilings, drawing the eye up to just how high these ceilings are. Beautiful chandeliers flanking just over the sitting area as well as the dining room area. And guys, you can see how much space there is. Both the sitting room and the dining room area have their own double doors leading you out into the beautiful garden. I've been told that many, many homes in Stain City don't have gardens. And this one not only has its very own garden and its very own heated pool, but quite a spacious one at that. So we've spoken about the sitting room area. We've spoken about this beautiful dining room area with tons of natural light. So let's walk into this kitchen because the beauty does not stop there. As soon as you get into this kitchen, Lydia, with this stunning naturally sourced wood floor, you see in the center, marble kitchen island, the down lighting on top of it, sea green glass. It really does give you just that touch of color that this house does wonderfully. Right over here, for all of you aspiring chefs, you've got a Smeg five burner gas cooktop with an oven built in just underneath and another oven, also Smeg, right over here. Stunning. Plenty of cupboard space, both behind me as well as underneath this island. And across to this side of the kitchen, you've got a lot of prep space if you're busy cooking up a big meal and just underneath, plenty of drawers for all your storage options. But behind me, what a beautiful breakfast nook. So much light, you can really start your day off on a positive note. There's another exit there to those beautiful grounds letting you into your garden. But there is so much more to this kitchen, guys. And to my left, there's a scullery as well as pantry. So let me show you some of the features over there. Walking into the scullery, you'll pass the pantry on the left-hand side. Plenty of shelving space there for all your dry food goods, and then you'll find yourself in the scullery. Double sink for all your washing up needs. But if we're talking about washing up, there's not one, but two Smeg dishwashers built into the left and right-hand side. And now this is built into the actual cupboard space, so it's hidden from view. It keeps everything looking very clean and very neat. And now that you've seen the scullery and pantry and those really cool dishwashers, I want to let you know that the fridge is done exactly the same. Hidden fridge, you pull it right out of here, it doesn't take away from the facade of these beautiful cupboards, but there's a lot more to show you. Come over here with me. And then, because we've spoken about the fridge, this here, top to bottom, is a huge built-in freezer. Cupboard space there, cupboard space above, and here we go, your very own wine cellar. Exposed brick behind it, beautiful wood keeping your wine separated. And I think with the third wave looming, I think this might have to come with me. So coming out of the kitchen, we're gonna walk across the full living room area. We're gonna pass an office on my left that we're gonna show you in just a moment and you're gonna find yourself within your lounge.
And this lounge area is stunning. It's got its very own central air conditioning system. Oh, gas fireplace in front of you. Beautiful plush carpets, windows all the way around, and they're all double paint. So you can imagine how nice and cozy this must get in this coming winter month. And really, it's just a very, very nice place to be in. I love lounges with lots of light, and this lounge has just that. Again, as I mentioned, the curtains can come with the house if you'd like it. All the doors are sliding doors, so it saves you so much space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this fireplace on, put something good on Netflix, and I'm gonna see you in a little bit. So another really cool feature that this house has is it has not one, but two garages. Both of them are double garages. So this house will easily accommodate four cars. These garages also have plenty, plenty of storage area as well as cupboard space. But come over here. Let me show you this guest room. And at the end of the hallway, you'll find yourself within the guest bedroom located on the bottom floor. This is the only bedroom downstairs and this bedroom has easy access to you could almost say it's an in-suite bathroom because this in-suite bathroom is just outside and it's a beautiful bathroom. All of the bathrooms in this house have been done up so well. I cannot wait to show you the master suites bathroom, but here we are, guest suite. Again, plenty of light, plenty of air. What this house has done so well that so many houses struggle to do is have light in all the rooms and that double pane glass makes sure that the, the warmth, the light, it never becomes overwhelming. It never makes the rooms feel stuffy or too hot. It is light and cool and that's exactly how we like it come here light and cool cameraman let's go the guest bathroom is beautifully done tiles on the floor give it so much style and character then the vanity has got almost a victorian style to it with a marble countertop toilet with hidden cistern and a walk-in shower really makes this bathroom even though it may be a guest bathroom feel like a main feature So as you come up those stairs, you'll notice just how beautiful and how airy this house is. Right over here on this bridge, you'll see both of the chandeliers. It looks stunning. It feels incredible. The white along with the pale wood, it is stunning. I actually can't say it enough, but also it's really good quality as well. I mean, if I had to shake this, nothing moves. And that's what's so important when buying a house these days is you wanna buy a quality home. But right here, you'll find on the left, there's a pajama lounge. You could use this as another living room, maybe even an office. And that's kind of how it's been set up right now. Double paned windows looking out onto your driveway. And right over here, we find one bedroom, another bedroom just behind you guys and the bathroom over here. So let's take a look at this first bedroom. So as I mentioned, this is a four bedroom, four bathroom house. Three of those bedrooms are located upstairs and this is the first. Now this bedroom has got plenty of access to the outside garden looking through these windows as well as plantation style shutters on some of the windows. Fan above me, as I'd mentioned as well, there is a central air conditioning system that also purifies the air. So this house has really got it going. So much cupboard space behind me beautiful plush carpets. Let's take a look at the bathroom and then let's take a look at the second bedroom located upstairs. Let's go. Now this bathroom has done something special. Again, different tiles on the floor, giving you a completely different feel. Those tiles match the vanity as well as the sink there, double sink. So you can easily cater to those two bedrooms in the corner of that house. Then walk-in shower as well as freestanding bathtub, really quality bathtub. Love how it looks, frosted glass windows and then a toilet just around the corner. Now let's come to the second bedroom, just before we go to the master suite. Again, plush carpets, fan above you, access to their central air conditioning systems, windows overlooking the front of the house, plantation shutters. These bedrooms really are big, they're spacious, they can easily accommodate your children as they do grow up, or they'll make perfect playrooms, office space. Anything you wanna do, the house and the bedrooms will easily accommodate it. So coming off of the landing into the master bedroom, the creme de la creme, as I'd mentioned it, it's got so much central air conditioning system, fan, windows overlooking the gardens, this plush carpet, 
plenty and plenty of space including cupboard space and his very own hallway with frosted glass now this master bedroom has been styled really nicely We've got this beautiful wallpaper showing a vista of trees just behind where the bed is we've got so much space in the corner right over here just between two windows looking out onto your grounds that you can utilize for a little sitting or reading area we all like reading nooks but you might be looking at this and saying to me, Chad, that is a really nice bedroom. So bulkhead ceilings, Chad, I like it, but we've seen so much more. Where's the walk-in closet, Chad? Where's the fireplace? And you know what? I've actually got a lot more to show you. So come with me. And here we are. What a walk-in closet this is. This actually reminds me of a Santin boutique. It's done so nicely beautiful mirrors on all of the wardrobes with that x pattern this stunning chandelier here center floating island with a mirror inset and something that i like and i think a lot of you ladies might actually tell me i might be right here but let me know if i'm wrong is just in the corner is a place where you'd be doing your makeup but there are two windows facing out there with those plantation shutters so when you do your makeup you've got natural light on your face instead of either halogen or down lighting so you can see exactly what you're doing i love what they've done here again that plush carpet underneath me but wait until you see the master bathroom let's go take a look and here you go the master suite bathroom this bathroom is incredible like i've mentioned done so different from all the other bathrooms i mean what bathroom do you know that's got a chandelier above you on my left hand side marble countertop double vanity those victoria style cupboards all of the faucets here, those beautiful gold faucets are St. James. We've then got a walk-in shower that is done, reminiscent for me at least, like those London style apartments, the glass is segmented into little rectangles. I love how it looks. The flooring, those tiles continue right into the bathroom and into the shower. I love how it's done. In the corner, where I've put you guys, I'm sorry guys, I love you, but I've put you where the toilet is situated. The, to the toilet door can be closed so you can get a little bit of privacy. All the windows around you, and trust me, there are many. One, two, three, four windows, all frosted beautiful bathroom all you bathroom connoisseurs i want you to let me know in the comments what you think about this beautiful bathroom now located downstairs as well is your very own private office i mean you can use this room for whatever you'd like to use it for but sliding doors separate you from the rest of the house giving you just that bit of privacy where you're trying to get some work done And here we are outside this beautiful outside area as i've mentioned not a lot of houses within stain city have got their own garden and this doesn't just have a garden it's got a full wraparound garden with servants quarters as well as a pool and this pool is heated solar heated pool guys i love this outdoor patio it matches the house it's nice it's fresh it's neutral toned we've got beautiful exposed stone here a prep sink in case you're looking to do some cooking outside along with the braai so what I want you all to let me know is what do you think about this house? What do you think about living in Stain City? Can you guys envision yourself living in this beautiful estate? And that is also the close. So from myself, Chad Viveros, everybody at Private Property, the team here, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the Home Shopper Show. We're going to see you again, same time, same place. Guys, we love you and goodbye. Rasmus, I think we need to go. This guy might want his trampoline back.